Good afternoon and salam ibu bitiriku. Five rockets were fired from the Gaza Strip in Israel early on Sunday. The Israeli military announced following a day of mass protests that saw Israeli troops kill four Palestinians near their territory border. Tens of thousands of Palestinians rallied in the Gaza Strip on Saturday to mark the anniversary of their mass protests along the Israeli border. Hamas officials said that Israel is offering a package of economic incentives in exchange for calm along the volatile border. Khalil al Haya, a senior Hamas official, said the group have received a positive sign from the Egyptians. He added that the Egyptian team was to return to Israel on Sunday to continue the talks. Quoted, we will continue our marches until all goals are achieved. Unquote. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Tentayu Hayu is seeking his fourth consecutive term in April 9 elections but is facing a serious challenge from a group of ex-army chiefs who have criticised what they say is his failed Gaza policy. Egypt has repeatedly tried to broker a ceasefire between Israel and Hamas, stepping up efforts in recent days after a Gaza rocket struck a house in central Israel earlier this week, injuring seven Israelis and threatening renewed escalations. A rescue in Mediterranean Sea that took an ominous turn has raised concern that some merchant ship captains might become reluctant to save migrants in danger of drowning during the perilous crossing from North Africa to Europe, fearing they could lose control of their ship. The temporary hijacking this week of El Hiblu 1 was described by Italy's hardline interior minister as an act of piracy. Eight groups call it an act of self-defense against Europe's inhumane immigration policies which aim to switch ship back desperate migrants to Libya, where they often face beatings, rape and torture in detention camps. The ship's captain said Maltese authorities had detained and strips searched him after the ship docked in the capital Valletta. John Stafford, manager for environmental and trade at the London-based International Chamber of Shipping said it was unlikely commercial ships would start to regularly refuse help to those in distress. The number of people making the perilous journey from North Africa across the Mediterranean to Europe has fallen steeply in recent years, and he noted, and many are being caught by the Libyan Coast Guard before they get far from the Libyan coast. Well, that's all the updates for now. I'm Kamaruddin Bujang. Salam ibu